Good morning, it's about 7 a.m. London time, and I've been studying abroad with Arcadia University, the College of Global Studies in London, since January 5th. And we got an email at 2.57 a.m. on Thursday last week that um, they were suspending our study abroad program here because of President Trump's uh, UK travel ban that he spoke about last Wednesday. And basically, our email said that we had to book a flight home ASAP um, and that they were spending the program and we were going to wait until we had further updates on how they were going to do online courses. So I had booked my original flight home for April 18th um, on American Airlines, but through Student Universe, which is a student travel site. And on Thursday last week, they had me on hold um, when I called because of all the coronavirus uh, travel callers, and they were only helping uh, people that had a flight within 72 hours. So they had put me in a queue um, since noon on Thursday, and I never heard back. So I had to basically buy another flight on American Airlines home, and hopefully I will be getting reimbursed for my other flight. And it's just been very chaotic, and, you know, I had to pack up right away, um, you know, make res make... Um, plans to do a 14-day self-quarantine just to be on the safe side when I get home in Philadelphia. So it's going to be very interesting. I'm going to kind of document my day today as I go to the airport and uh, get on my plane and then when I land in Philadelphia to see what measures are being taken, like if there's any screenings, is there any long massive lines. So it'll be interesting. I'm about ready in the next hour to get uh, my car to Heathrow Airport so that's when I'll do my next check. So I just got to the airport at Heathrow. Uh, traffic was pretty good. It's a little bit crowded here in Terminal 3. Um, I'm currently standing in the American Airlines um, terminal. I'm waiting in line. There's an awful long line for American Airlines. So I just cleared um, the bag check. Lines were a little long at American. Um, they asked you a few questions like, have you been to China? And they also kind of were asking you you know, a few other questions if you were studying abroad. Um, I'm going to head up to security now. Um, they were telling us when actually we were walking into the bag line that um, a lot of British uh, travelers aren't allowed to be going to the US. So you have to kind of check your airline and see if they will let you fly there. So we'll talk to you after security. So I just made it through security and the lines were average. Um, you know, a lot of people scrambling to get flights home, especially so a lot of college students from study abroad programs. Uh, walking around. Um, you know, I'm waiting in the departure lounge right now, and it's kind of your average day here at Heathrow. You know, a good average amount of people. You know, again, a lot of people wearing face masks, um, just trying to get home. Um, so we will talk to you when we get on board the plane. So I just boarded my American Airlines flight back to Philadelphia. Um, going through the boarding process went really smoothly. They checked my passport and asked had I been to um, the, out of the UK for the past 14 days. And um, they also had given us this um, voucher form about a health screening that we were gonna get in Philadelphia that somebody is going to do, check our temperature um, and sign off on it. So we will talk to you when we get to Philadelphia. So I just got done my flight on American Airlines from London to Philadelphia, and we got off the plane with no problems. Um, I got to U.S. Customs and flew right through. They didn't even take the form that I had brought. We didn't even get a temperature check, and it wasn't even crowded at all. No backups here at Philadelphia Airport. Um, on board the flight, though, the flight crew did um, get a statement from American Airlines saying that passengers should wash their hands and just be conscious of that. So that's my reporting for the day. I'm Justin Dick with ABC News.